Hey, it's Kevin Yates, personal trainer for the East Bay, California, and today I'm going to share a few um, golf shoulder exercises that you can use to help correct muscle imbalances that lead to golf shoulder pain, okay? So, um, you know, golf shoulder problems, you know, I've seen them happen in a lot of clients that I train who are golfers, and, um, you know, there's typically a few reasons, few common reasons that um, shoulder pain starts to happen. Um, so one of them is posture. I mean, if you just look generally at your posture, you know, a lot of times people stand just kind of, you know, they have kind of a slunched, um, you know, hunched back a little bit. The shoulders are a little too rounded forward, right? They're kind of like this. And what happens if, try this with me, stand up and try this with me and watch. If you sl slouch like that and slump and you try and reach your arm over your head, I mean, that's as far as I can go. You know, if you try that, you, it just doesn't allow you proper room, right? Because your shoulder's not at a good angle to allow movement. Now, if I straighten up by put my chest up and pull my shoulders back a little bit, now watch. And you'll see, I can get my arm right overhead and have great range of motion. So, poor posture is a big, big key because a lot of, you know, golfers are out there with that kind of posture. And then they can't properly open up the shoulder, they can't get a good shoulder turn, you know, and then they start stressing out the rotator cuff and injuries start to happen. So, poor posture... Um, commonly is the result of either one or both of the following. Tightness in the pec muscles, you know, the chest, the front shoulder, all the anterior muscles in the chest and shoulder, they, they can get tight and they start to pull and close up that shoulder, right? And they limit the range of motion that you have. Um, the second is weakness across the mid and upper back muscles. Right back here, the muscles at your shoulder blades, when they're weak, they won't hold you up tall like you're supposed to be. They'll just kind of be like that, right? So posture is a big thing. Right, and another key thing, I've found this in, in a lot of the golfers I train, is lack of flexibility, particularly trunk rotation. All right, so I see a lot of people who can't properly turn their trunk, right? So what happens, instead of turning, they, they'll, they'll go in that golf swing, and instead of having a good hip, trunk, and shoulder turn, then what they'll do is they'll, they'll deviate the hip to the side a little bit as they go into the swing, right? And then the same thing happens on the downswing. So this, this lateral deviation, and that really starts to mess things up with the swing and your shoulder because what it does is it, one, it, it displaces your center of gravity, okay? So when your center of gravity is displaced, then you lose balance. And then when you lose balance, you're going to lose power on your swing. You're going to lose accuracy, which is going to lead to uh, over slicing and topping off the ball, right? So a lot of those issues start to happen, okay? So um, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna show you just a few exercises you can do right in your own home. I got the corner of a wall, okay? And that's all you need. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna work on that, that upper mid-back strength, teach you how to, how to use those muscles back there and open all these, these anterior muscles that tend to be really tight, right? So this is a wall row, all right? So what we're gonna do on a wall row is you're gonna stand away from the wall Right, just you know, a couple feet or, or so. You're gonna put your arms right against the wall, only about mid chest height. So don't be going way up here, just mid chest height. You're gonna let your, your back and your head and your body sink into the corner of the wall, and then you're gonna pull your dig your elbows into the wall and stand yourself back up. Okay? And do these for about 10 to 15 repetitions, but every time you do them, you gotta focus on pulling your shoulder blades together. Pull your shoulder blades back here towards your spine and down a little bit. Right? So nothing up here. Nothing where you're like got your shoulder your, your shoulders up in your ears, right? So if you come off this and you're feeling like you got a headache or neck tightness and things like that up here that are tight, you're doing them wrong. Okay, so you don't want to feel anything in the neck. Alright? Um, second exercise we're gonna do is a diagonal pattern. Okay, so it's just a fundamental pattern to open up the tight muscles and restore proper um, range of motion at the shoulder. So diagonal pattern, you put one hand on your opposite hip, palm on your hip. You're going to turn like you're hitchhiking. You're going to point your thumb up toward the corner of the, of the room, and you're just going to open up without turning your hips or your trunk. You're just opening the shoulder up and stretching everything through here. Turn the thumb back down and bring the hand to the hip, and then repeat and open up. Okay? And do 10 of those on one side, and also do 10 on the other. Okay? You want to have balance. You don't just want to have one side that's really mobile and, and, and another side that you don't. You'll have a real imbalanced body and then you'll really start to have like a list of growing injuries down the road. So balance out both sides, okay? And then the third we're going to do is a trunk rotation. I like to get a medicine ball for this, three to five pound ball. You don't have to use it. Hold the medicine ball at your chest, put your feet about shoulder width apart and just turn your trunk to one side. 
back to the middle, turn to the other. Okay. Now, I don't know if you can see this on the camera or not, um, but I'm not moving my hips. All right. So you don't turn your hips. You only turn your upper body and your head. Okay. Only turn your upper body and your head. Now, you can do this in an advanced way. If that's too easy, hold the ball out in front of you and try it. Okay. And that's really, really hard without moving your hips. Okay. So you just go side to side. Try not to move the hips. Okay. So those are three exercises you can do. Then a good stretch that you're going to do for um, really tightness and, and helping to straighten up that posture is a three-way doorway stretch. So again, in the doorway, arms out about mid-chest height, stand a little away from the wall, and then just kind of sink in there, right? And let your chest stretch. Hold it about 10 to 15 seconds. That's all you need. should be feeling a good stretch through the chest area. Okay, and then you're going to go up just above the shoulders. Same thing. Stretch, stretch. Okay. And then the last one you do is like up, not in here, but just kind of up toward quote unquote corners of the room and stretch. Okay. All right. So that's your, your exercises and your stretch. And, um, you know, let me know how they go for you. Type your feedback in uh, the box below. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of this video. Did it help you? Did it not help you? Um, did you agree with um, some of the things I said? Did you try them? Did you not agree with it? You know, and, and, and let me know also what else you want me to do a video about or, or tell you about. And, um, and I'll do my best to, to get to those comments and, and, uh, and give you what you want to hear, okay, or what you want to see. Um, if you haven't already done so, click on the yellow box above, subscribe to my videos, and I will see you next time.